Hey everyone, uh, a few days ago on Instagram I made a post where I mentioned that uh, you can use USB HDMI capture devices on a Raspberry Pi just fine and I saw that that got a lot of reactions so I thought that I'd uh, post something else where I actually give the information on how to use that. Now I am putting a blog post together that will have all of this information within it. Uh, since commands that have to be precisely typed in do not translate very very well over voice descriptions or video. It's nice to actually have these in a text format where you can copy and paste them as needed. Now before you get started on your Raspberry Pi you are going to want to install the video for Linux tools. Uh, in order to do that uh, you can just use this command sudo uh, apt install within the video for Linux utils. Now I've already done that on this Pi so I'm not going to be running that uh, command. Once that's installed, uh, the next thing to take care of is your hardware setup. Now, here's a picture of conceptually how your hardware setup will look. Uh, one thing I will point out is that this display monitor that I'm using here it has both an HDMI in and an HDMI out. Uh, I'm using my Nintendo Switch as a video source, so it's passing through this display and then passing to the Pi. The whole reason I have this display here is because while the Pi is recording, it does not show you the content that you're recording. Uh, if you've used the Raspberry vid command before, then one of the things about it is while it's recording, it will actually show you the frames that is it's capturing them. Uh, I'll be using FFmpeg throughout here and it does not do the same thing. Now, if you're using a display that does not have an HDMI out, you can get an HDMI splitter. Uh, I happen to have one here. Um, I had this for other purposes. But you want to get one of these so that you can connect your video source to something where you can also monitor it. Now, while this is a conceptual video setup, it's not the one that I'm using because I also need to be able to capture the raw output from the Nintendo Switch and from the Pi just so that I have them so that you can, can compare them. So let's get back to uh, the actual steps that you'll be doing. Um, so if you have the video for Linux uh, tools installed, and if you have your USB device plugged in, uh, if you want to make sure that the Pi is detecting it, then it, you can just use this command in order to list all the USB devices uh, that it sees. Well, not just USB, but all the video capture devices that it has. Now, the one that I'm using here, it is branded as the Atmos Connect, but I believe this exact same adapter is marketed under other names. Here, it just shows up under the generic name USB Video you can find the same one other other named with the same capabilities. Now some of you might wonder why I'm not using the Camlink 4K. And there's a couple of reasons. Uh, other than my computer, I don't really have a 4K video source here. The other reason is the Camlink 4K only appears to output um, video in RAW format. And I actually wanted to be able to get it in a compressed format. So I'll be using the Atmos Connect uh, throughout the rest of this, but looking at my blog post, the information that shows up here came from the Camlink 4K. But now the device is listed, and uh, one thing I want to point out is the device shows it has two device file names. The one of interest is Dev Video 0. I don't know what Dev Video 1 does. I've tried to use it, doesn't really do anything, but stick with Dev Video 0. But now that we've gotten the device, using whatever your device file name is, and it will probably be the same as mine, but if it's not, then take note and do replacement of these commands. Uh, oops, okay, actually hit enter, but let's do this again, just so you can, well, this is a command that gets typed in, ffmpeg uh, with the list format parameter. And when it runs, it will show you, or at least for this device, you can see that it outputs a video in both uh, compress and an uncompressed format, a raw format. And then for each one of these formats, you can see the uh, resolutions that it supports. And the highest resolution that it supports is 1920 by 1080. So that's the resolution that I'll be using. Now, just to make sure that everything is set up and working, I'm going to use FF Play. Now, FF Play will let you see the video. It does not record any of it. So it's just going to grab it, uh, show it on the screen, and that's it. And that's just fine. So we can go ahead and do a test before we actually start uh, recording things to the drive. 
Okay, so here I am. I'm playing the game Luigi's Mansion. I just woke it back up. Uh, I'm not actually going to go out into any of the action scenes. Um, so as I'm viewing this on the Pi itself, it is coming through kind of choppy. And this is a Raspberry Pi 4 that I'm using. So I'm just walking around this room so you can see how it animates. Let's go back to the... Or, yeah, let me go back to my desktop. So in order to stop this, I can just switch back to this window and hit Control C. Uh, now, just to give you an idea of how it actually looks, let me switch over to the raw output. So this is the same thing. I'm walking around the room. Uh, only this time it's not being passed through the Pi. So I have another HDMI recording device here that is capturing all of this. Uh, for those that are interested, I'm using an ATEM Mini from Blackmagic Designs. Okay, so back to the Pi. So we were able to display the output uh, that is coming from the video source, but now I want to record it. So let me grab my command for recording. Let's see, wait for my copy menu. Here we go. Okay, let me clear the screen actually, since this looks kind of messy. Okay, paste the command. And do I want to change anything? I don't think so. Everything right now looks well, no, I do want to change something. So this uh, is using a format that was on my Camlink 4K. I want to change the format that's recording into well, MJPEG, the motion JPEG. Uh, so it's going to write to a file called output.avi. So let's get it going. And at this point it is recording, but like I mentioned before, you cannot see what you're recording. So I'm switching over to my other video input and I'm just going to do a similar animation with walking around the room. Okay, and that should be enough. Okay, back to the Pi. And once it's done recording, I can just hit Control C. And that's it. It exits. So now if I list the files in that folder. And I did something that I should not have. I'm in my home folder. I meant to do that somewhere else. So let's move this. So I think there's a, yes, a videos folder. So let's go there. Oops, I didn't actually change. Okay, so there's my video output. Now it's in AV, it's in an AVI envelope. That's not what I want to have it in. I want to have it inside of an MPEG-4 envelope and make sure that the audio coding is AAC. So I'm going to once again use FFmpeg in order to do that conversion. So let's see, everything looks good here. Um, okay, I'll go ahead and press enter and I will let it do its thing. Now, for some reason, I am seeing a lot of duplicate frames or within the source video file. I don't know what that's about. That's something I'll probably have to look into further. Now, this conversion does take a while, so let's just go ahead and speed to the end. Okay, and so now it's done. And here I'm going to insert what the output looks like. Now, I'm not playing it through the Pi because I didn't want any performance hiccups in the Pi's ability to play back video to... Uh, affect what you're seeing. So I've just taken the video and I've just inserted the raw video output into this video that you're watching now. So this is the result. Uh, let me go ahead and do another recording. Um, so I want to save this output. And I'm going to do one. I'm going to do one more recording. Uh, this time around. Let's see. Let's take a look at um, what the formats were. So I'm going to do a lower resolution. Uh, let's do something else that is fairly regular. Okay, 1280 by seven. Um, 1280 by 720 p. So I want to record in that format.
Okay, it's recording. Let's go back to the game. And I'm in a different room within this game. Not going to really do a whole lot in here. Uh, that's probably good enough. Back to the pie. Yes, kill that. Okay, so there's my output. And I want to do the conversion. Let's find that command again. We're going to go ahead and put, uh, let's see, I named the other one 1920, so this one needs to be named with 1280. Okay, and I'll let that run. Okay, and so now that's done. And this is what that video output looks like. So that's all that there is to it. Um, like I mentioned before, recording uh, from another HDMI, HDMI source is pretty easy. And this isn't limited to just using HDMI capture devices. If you have another USB webcam, uh, you could use the exact same procedures in order to record from it because these devices that I'm using to the Raspberry Pi, it just looks like it's another webcam. Now, if you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, uh, I have several others. You can find them both on my Instagram page and on my uh, YouTube page. So for Instagram, I'm under Instagram.com slash J2INET. And for YouTube, it is YouTube.com slash J2INET. And as you might have suggested from the name, you can also find uh, my blog entries, including the one for this, over at J2I.NET. If you're looking at this video any more than a week after it has come out, then chances are that blog post has posted. Until next time.